May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all goodness. I have a lot to say. There was something I'd want to say about the parrot. Am I right? I think I did say it, but I'm not so sure. It was in the UK the last time I was here, but I'm not so sure where. So I will make mention of it. It's just a joke to show you that in Islam, we're also allowed to joke. <laughs> For as long as the joke is not about any race, not about any religion, no matter what, we're not allowed to draw a cartoon about even the Hindus or the idols, nothing. Allah says, لَا تَسُبُّ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ فَيَسُبُّ اللَّهَ عَدْوًا بِغَيْرِهِمْ Don't ever mock at anyone worshipping gods and deities besides Allah. Those who are far astray, don't mock about their beliefs, never. Because it will invite them to mock at your faith, at your expense, without knowledge. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. So, for as long as no religion, no race, you know, it's just a light joke. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, grant us all goodness and also we shouldn't be uh, people who pick on others and so on they say or it is said and this is a joke that there was a parrot that could speak and this joke before I start I must make mention it's not against women but it's against people who have pride in them arrogance haughtiness according to us in Islam even your surroundings can pick that up your surroundings bear witness for you or against you on the day of judgment and these surroundings, amazingly, they pick up. They are either in harmony with you or against you. That's why you feel very claustrophobic sometimes and you feel very uneasy, maybe because your spirituality is not, for example, uh, at peace with the surroundings. If, if a spiritual person was to enter a nightclub, they wouldn't feel easy there. They would feel very, very, you know. And the same applies if a person who has absolutely no spirituality, half drunk, wants to walk into the masjid, they wouldn't feel very easy there, although under certain conditions they might also experience the blessings of Allah there. So the parrot could speak and it was for sale at the pet shop with a little window, little window overseeing the pavement. And there was a lady walking with her friends, with making a loud noise with her shoes down the aisle, you know, lots of arrogance, Allah protect us. And the bird says, hey you, hey you. <laughs> so everybody looks, where did this come from? Turned around, says, Oh, this comes from this bird. Wow, oh, you can talk. He says, Yes. The bird says, Yes. The parrot says, Yes. So the parrot looks at this woman who was absolutely arrogant and says, You're ugly. <laughs> Woo, that was bad. She was so embarrassed, very upset, naturally so. And she decided to walk away, you know, blurting a few words and gone. The following day she comes back, the same thing happens. Hey you, hey you. She says, oh no. So she looks there, she hadn't changed her ways. She's still the same, arrogance. And the parrot says, you're ugly. She decided, no, I'm going into this shop and I'm waiting for it to open and I want to take these guys to court. So she goes in and she starts tackling the owner. You know, this parrot, I want to sue it for defamation. I want to sue it for this and for that and what. And the guy tries to explain, look, you know, it's just a parrot and it won't happen and you know this. And then he calls the parrot in and says, you know what, this woman, you don't you dare say you're ugly again. It's going to be a big problem, you see. It's going to be a big... So the parrot says, okay. <laughs> so the woman was very, very excited. The following morning, obviously the parrot had undertaken not to say you're ugly again. The following morning, the woman walks down even more arrogance. Why? She's convinced that this parrot is now dead meat. You know, dead meat if it says anything. So she called up all her friends and says, right, we're all walking down the aisle together today. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. And she walks with lots of arrogance. She hadn't changed. All she needed to do is just calm down a little bit. And the parrot would have left her. And the parrot's looking very scared, <laughs> shaking, you know, sees her walking past, doesn't say anything. And then suddenly, as she crosses, the parrot says, Hey you, hey you! And she says, What? She looks back and says, What? The parrot says, You know. <laughs> so the moral of the story is, for as long as you don't leave arrogance, you're not going to solve the problem. It will still, and people, even if they don't tell you that, they know it. If a parrot can know it, those around you know it. So if you want to be a good Muslim, just release those bad habits, throw them out, and inshallah, everything will be at peace with you. And when another parrot tells you, hey you, you can say, 
Yes, it will tell you, Salaamu Alaikum.